so excited. This is the first time I think we've actually ever spoken in person. It is. This is, this is, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like nerd out or fan out. Can I, can I get that out of my system real quick? Go for it. I told my husband, I was like, I am panicking. Oh, okay, so I, no, seriously, I'm so excited about your hair. Like, oh my God, like, how do you have such great hair? Because I've got like curly hair, and today I will, I actually have to apologize. It is in a bun because no. we, we decided to do something really fun yesterday. We went to this um, adrenaline park. Um, it's called the yeah. Adrenaline adventure or adrenaline forest or adrenaline i saw i saw in your stories and i was just like uh holy cow crazy yeah it was looks it, was it fun not fun no. but when you are like it is such a great activity for kids like like highly recommend as an activity for kids but as an activity for adults especially <laughs> ones with like sports injuries and like achy creaky muscles like it was not a f I've got bru nope. look, I've got like mm -hmm. look at that ah, I've got dang. bruises like everywhere where I've like my hands are bruised from like holding on to the wires and like the fear and like all of my core muscles are burning and hurting. This morning I got out of bed and I was like, oh. Yeah. So I couldn't even, like, I can't even lift my arms to brush my hair. So I was just like, fuck it. Put it in the fuck it bucket. Mm. But at least you did it, maybe. I don't know. I've, there's more and more things. The older I get, I'm like old and crotchety. I'm like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's just, no, no, not for me. I'm out. <laughs> Go to the jumpy park. No, 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 I don't think my knee will stand through that. <laughs> they just opened a, like a trampoline, like fitness park, like in walking distance to my house, and I'm just like, no, no, not doing it. Uh, you can, okay, that's cool for other people. I hear you. Yeah. There's, no, there's no judgment here. So let's get started. Please introduce yourself. Please introduce yourself. Is this the chance where I get to be awkward? And yeah, I'm just going to be awkward this whole time. So. It's awkward, so go for it. <laughs> yeah, so I am Cam. I run at Coffee and Sarcasm uh, on Instagram. And this is the first time when we post this that I'll be showing my face. Wait, to my what? Brand. Yep, I have never shown my face on my account. I know, I know. That's the like behind the scenes the panic. I'm like, oh, this is happening. We're doing this. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I, know. I know, I know, I know. I just happened. I, I just I know. Why? Okay, we gotta go into why why? This is a good question. No, I mean, I started my account. So first off, I, I started my account and never ever expected like it to go where it did like I, it and people ask like how I did it and I'm like Jesus I have like no effing idea like who it just happened and uh so for me it was always about being art focused and never like about myself um and I don't know I just like I never took that leap and then at some point it became too much right you know like at some point it wasn't like oh I'm just gonna show my face on the internet to whoever's following me it's like I'm going to show my face to the internet and I don't know how many people are going to see it, but it might be a lot and uh, panic. Well, it's a very so. nice face and I am excited <laughs> that I get to see your face. Yeah, thank you. This is awesome. I've been watching you on YouTube and everywhere for years. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, I, but you're, I'm but, a fan girl. Oh. But you're also one of the OGs though. You're one of the OG bullet journal accounts. <laughs> It's weird, you know, I don't actually feel that way. I don't, I like, because when I came on, I was following the Art of Fujo and like, that was the holy grail. I've spent hours on that site, hours, hours. And I spent I don't hours know. on that site. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I believe it, I believe it. But yeah, it's crazy. Um, so I don't feel it, you know? Is that weird? That's weird. I'm, I, I promise like I'm not just... trying to be like a humble, like, Ass or anything like, that. like that's not <laughs> so cool now. Um, no, no. You, you've been around. You've been around as long as Art of Bujo was around, and Art of Bujo started, I think, in like the end of 2017, like the end yeah. to the start of 2018. 
Yeah. So, you know, and I remember we, like I say we, me, um, featured you a lot because at the time you were doing these like really creative things. And I was like, ooh, stop, that's so fancy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was like fangirling out of like, oh my god, they reposted my art. Oh, this is crazy. How is this happening? Like, oh, so fancy. How is someone so smart? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I remember. I, remember I think I can't remember who it was. It was either it was either Mark and I or Haley and I. It was one of us. We were chatting and we were talking. Could have been Rose and I actually. And we were talking, we were getting so annoyed. We're like, how is this bitch growing? Like, honestly, like, how is this, how is her account growing? Like, it's hockey sticking up. And we're like, one minute she was cool. The next minute she's like, super cool. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. I literally don't know. I would get, I mean, I would go to work. At some point there's crazy hockey stick. And this is not me bragging, but this is just the, the insanity that it was. <laughs> like, I would go to work and at the beginning of the day, I would have, you know, like 12, 12,000, whatever, 12,000 followers. And by the end of the day, it would be 13,000. Like I would be leaving work and I've gained 1,000 followers in eight, nine hours. RIP, <laughs> RIP, you, um, what's it? RIP Instagram good times. We were like there in the good yeah. times. Yeah, it's like, don't worry now, because now it's like, <laughs> you know, it's the, it's the opposite right now. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a, I, was, I meant to send a screenshot. Instagram gave me a little bit of hope. It was like plus five. I'm like, oh, no, you know, like, yay, plus something. And then in the next day, it was like plus six. And I'm like, oh, one more. And then it's like negative 22. <laughs> it's like, it gave yeah. me hope and then just dashed it, you know, like right in half. No judgment. I hear you there. Um, so what, you, joined, you joined our engagement group around the same time that Mark join I think Mark join her I think you guys join around the same time I don't know I thought y'all were all like real cool and I was the new person the new girl I can't, I can't even remember we just I still feel that way I we just selected a whole bunch of big accounts and we were like let's put all these cats together and just talk about it. <laughs> really I think it was a targeted approach to understand how Cam was growing her account and we were all just stagnant <laughs> no, no, targeted approach no it was not I do not believe you I guess, well, they I guess. said it was terrifying. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> How am I terrifying? Okay, wait. Let's unpack this. How am I terrifying? Because <laughs> I don't know. It's it's like you have been terrifying. Terrifying is is probably too strong a word, but like intimidating. Oh, come on, there are, there are intimidating people in this world. And I have like you you are solidly in this bucket for me. I mean, not now that we've met officially, but after you <laughs> the whole time I'm like, man, you don't want to piss Nicola off. Like you just don't. This is not a thing you want to do in life, ever. <laughs> and I'm totally, I'm totally that person that if you are having any life problem, like literally you are you've decided that you are going to marry a Christmas tree. I'm the house if you come to with a glass of wine. I'm ready. I've got a wine ready for you. Like, let's get, like, let's get you a face mask, babe. You sit down. You tell me how you want to marry that tree. Yeah. I, will listen, I will listen to your tree marrying. Sure, am I going to agree with your tree marrying? Probably not. No. But we can talk about it. I will accept it. There is no judgment. Oh my gosh, I love it. You know, I think it's because I, I, I get a sense like you just you don't pull up, put up with bullshit like ever. I think that's. I don't, is that true? I have no idea. It feels like. I put up with quite a bit. I don't, I, I feel like this year I'm putting up with less, but, um, or this last year, I should say, I'm putting up with less, but overall I'm, I'm usually like. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's been my sense is like, she just doesn't pull, put up with bullshit. Oh my God. Well, that's, I guess. Well, I'm all wrong. I guess, clearly I'm great at reading people. Oh, I guess, you know, if I'm going to be terrifying, I might as well be terrifying in Bucho land. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know that's when people ask, you know, if, if they don't know what bullet journaling is, like, it, it's like I draw art in journals and in a professional setting, like how to reframe that into something that's like not, I draw arts and flowers and notebooks and I'm really popular I swear I promise people like it I think people like me 
<laughs> I think sometimes I'm not sure. Sometimes I think. Um, yeah, you know, like that's the trick with Instagram, though, right? Like it can be brutal where people are just like rough on. I think us as creators, they're just so brutal. And I know you've had some of it as well, but you know what I appreciate most about you is you don't tolerate it. <laughs> oh, I, like you would think with the name Coffee and Sarcasm, which I love both things. So I'm really sarcastic personally. And then I love coffee and that's a whole obsession. It's really hard to kind of take that into your brand without being like, an asshole like without sounding like sarcasm when it's just you unless it's about yourself which is one self-deprecation everybody loves some yeah exactly but like sarcasm in other sense it's really like oh this person is an asshole and i, I know i, I, sarcasm I feel like is a hard one. one because it doesn't yeah. translate either sarcasm doesn't right. translate out of the language that you've got sarcasm in so you've got, yep. you know, you try, we look at some of the, cause we've got some international people in that group that we have, mm -hmm. that group chat we have. And yep. that's sarcasm just is lost. Is it really? Are there like side chats? Like, wait, what does that mean? What's happening? The, there's always a side chat. Like there's always a side chat. Like, oh, is someone, someone grumpy? It's like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> sister got you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, <laughs> that's funny <laughs> oh yeah I've just turned it into like being at myself but I, I don't know I always get the sense I've, I've shared uh in our chat like I want to be funnier on my account but I like don't know how to do it in a way that's not sounding like I'm just like I don't know like careless asshole it's a really fine line curse right? curse word, curse word. it's a really fine line between <laughs> you know kind of showing your personality and what people are actually going to like and appreciate and mm -hmm. I've started seeing a lot more accounts where they're just really honest about like the person that they are and the way that they create versus creating something that's more suited to the environment that they're in and they seem to be thriving and I'm like oh I, I wish I, I wish I could like, like Mark Mark and his reels and like can I just like do this too I don't know how why are real why are reels so hard videos have escaped me for years and i've tried and they're like disastrous it's it's yeah i cannot figure it out so reels are just this other thing on top of that where i'm like well it's just i don't know but you, you seem to still be creating some really cool stuff you've taken like a couple of breaks here and there were those were those purposeful breaks or did you just be like fuck it <laughs> Uh, um, a little bit of A, a little bit of B, but more of A. So I actually came down with um, like kind of a bad case of sciatica uh, in early 2020, 2020. Yeah, so before pandemic, um, I started having like uh, like pain and I thought, oh, it's muscle and I just need to stretch and, and, and things. And then it took a while because then COVID happened, it took a while to diagnose it. So I actually had a hernia uh, like a herniated, not herniated, but a herniated disc in, in my back. And uh, yeah, it's, it's sciatica, which was not fun. <laughs> uh, turns out that leaning over your artwork for hours at a time and leaning over a desk and then also sitting for work, you know, not, not good for you and not the best. What do you, you do know? as a day job? Uh, so I work in software, in technology. I uh, did product management for specifics, and then yeah, I work at a software company in Atlanta. Um, uh, I went to art school, uh, so I went I, I went to school for graphic design. And my physical therapist said, so "Come on, like I'm young, right? Like I'm still young. I think I'm still young." And uh, he was like, "Well, what'd you do in college?" And I'm like, leaned over art for hours at a time. So I had just been doing that for years and it finally caught up to me um and so my husband actually had to like force me to like stop bullet journaling because for a while I was like I can do it I can do it I can do it while standing and not leaning over which you can't by the way all right I can't and uh not not well and uh he finally was just like you need to like walk away and I'm like I can't 
Yeah, so then I just like had to take the break. And so I'm trying to come back like slowly, trying to get back into it in a way that I can like balance. Are you finding that it's still quite painful to do though? There's there's like good days and bad days. Um, some days are okay, but like it, it's one of those like day to day, you feel like you're in it, but you can see progress like, over time. So like, I'm definitely better than I was last year. I'm definitely better than I was like a month ago. And so like, I know I'm healing, but every day there's like something where you're like, ah, oh, I just don't feel like sitting, uh, like sitting on the couch. It's really That's not so right. sad. Yeah. So outside of bullet journaling, what are some of the things that bring you joy? Because I know we've chatted before about like podcasts and movies tv shows so um yeah. so what outside of bullet journaling also brings you joy <laughs> oh boy uh i should have prepared this question right um so i love coffee coffee brings me joy that's obvious i think so this is one um yeah i love listening to podcasts and history podcasts like i almost wanted to be an art history major almost uh and then i like didn't know what I could do with that as a job kind of thing so I didn't do that um archivist I, like you could be an archivist <laughs> you know funny funnily enough someone on my team actually we used to be in that and they moved over but I like yeah okay I've seen seen that but um like I, I will listen to two three hour podcasts about like Rome and just the fall of Rome or like random things that are happening in Ta like the Taiping Rebellion in China like in the 18th century it's, you know and it's like strap in I listened to like 50 episode podcasts about the French Revolution you know I just ever since I was a kid history and I'm not 100% sure why but geography have never been my strong point like the only way I'm learning about history right now is through tv shows I am the worst the, the only reason I know about Catherine the Great is because of the great and I'm like wow who knew that this chick from like another country went in and was the queen of another country and I'm like babe go you babe and I'm like didn't even know didn't even know uh, meanwhile, like I will nerd out and go read everything about Catherine the Great and then listen to a podcast about her because I watched the show and then like compare the two and like, yeah, it's kind of bad. So I love watching TV series as well. It's like another big passion. Like as weird as it sounds like, like, or lazy, I guess. <laughs> I love watching TV. No. <laughs> um, and you like, you like cults as well, don't you? You've, you're also into cults. Yep. And... Yep. I love it. Uh, yeah, so I love watching TV shows like ever since ever since like Netflix binge era. I, I love the progression of how storytelling has changed and like storytelling through series and not even movies. Like I just love it. And, I don't know. I watch a of TV and series, and then yeah, it's maybe a little bit unhealthy. <laughs> it is again no judgment here. We we're here for a binge watch. <laughs> Yeah, what are, what are you watching? What are you currently watching? Oh my god, okay, I've got a terrible confession to make. So I, because I'm just go, go, go all the time, I personally love me, I love murder TV, of it. well we call it murder TV because it's like someone's gonna die in the TV show um, <laughs> and it's real. <laughs> Crazy people, you Americans, you so silly, um, you just serial kill everybody. Um, <laughs> Tiger King. Oh, Tiger King. You know, like I love stuff though that is just like mindless where I don't have to pay a lot of attention. So mm -hmm. I, as awful as it as it is, I am fully addicted to 90 Day Fiance at the moment. Yeah, we've talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. Me addicted. Are you watching like every uh what is it they because they have different versions right they have different like families of 90 day fiance i don't watch the family ones because i'm like babe you're done now now you're out of the season like i'm not interested um yeah. but i love like the backstories and the story i'm just like where is this gonna go <laughs> no no so during 
when COVID started, me and my husband, who does not watch TV, right? So he he's like, not about this TV thing. He'll go and watch YouTube. That's his world and that's his jam. Oh, and, can, he, uh, can he watch this video? It gives us viewers and hours. Thanks. Thanks, babe. <laughs> this is if I share it with him. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you can't watch this ever. Um, <laughs> we so we started watching, we call it junk TV. So any kind of reality TV, like we'll call it junk TV. So it was like, we've seen almost every episode of Guy's Grocery Games, like because, and I don't cook, I'm like really terrible cook, but I will critique Guy's Grocery Games. I'm like, what are they doing? They have no idea what, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, Meanwhile, over boiling milk and burning the stove, like at the same time. <laughs> um, so we watched Jump TV and we watched all of 90 Day Fiance, and it was hilarious. I just, I don't know what it is about it, but I am a, like, I don't, I think there is something wrong with me because I am so addicted to it. Like, I am, like, I know there's one coming out today, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh i need to get on it okay is it um, a new is it new, is there new yeah there's a oh new one God. where they're doing the before the 90 days oh okay okay there yeah. is one where the guy is blatantly being catfished and i'm just like oh babe how did you end up in this situation that you are literally being catfished like it's 2022 babe let's not get us a catfish do you watch catfish though? i did and now i'm like eh, it's the same it's like circular yeah. right like it's same. the same vibe every time we know it's going to be a fucking catfish yep yeah i did the same thing so 90 day fiance like i'm convinced it's great for relationships so because we what happened for us is it actually as weird as it sounds we would be watching you know something happens and they make like a stupid decision and like whatever it's reality tv and i'd be like well that's not cool and my husband would be like really and we'd like pause <laughs> and we'd be like, why is that not cool for you <laughs> I yeah, thought that was cool. we're having like level nine deep questions about our marriage about like what's cool and not cool like he cheated on her i'm like yeah the circumstance didn't mean that he literally cheated on her like but come on he can't be that mad he's like i'd be mad I'm like 20 minutes later we're still debating this thing all of 90 day fiance it was great it was great listen i see now we do that with um things like the amazing race and survivor we have these like <laughs> level 10 meetings about now if we were on the show i feel like we'd kill each other by now um so maybe we need to talk about our life insurance <laughs> I uh I've actually never watched Survivor ever. I know. Oh, uh, you know what the new like the first Survivor, the OG one, like mm -hmm. back in like a thousand years ago, like what 2021, 20, 22, 20, like a thousand years ago. I'm starting to feel really old now. Um Oh my god, I just realized that like 20 years ago, I was in my 20s. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, that's what, I, I don't know, I can't do the math, 15, I'm not that far back. I don't know, oh, no, I'm just I'm, depressed, like, <laughs> I, so I don't watch the survivor shows, because I'm, like, not a survivor, <laughs> like, I'm really bad at adulting, and, um, like, I can't cook, I, like, it's a running joke, I can't feed myself, like, I'm gonna order food, like, that counts, kind of, like, and, and, sorry, can you Uber this to this island? I'm sorry, like Uber Eats? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm in Fiji, even, can we Uber Eats? Even worse, my husband will Uber things for me, or he'll like, uh, yeah, Uber Eats or whatever things for me if he's leaving the house. Like, he'll make sure that I have food delivered to me <laughs> because I'm really bad at feeding myself. It's not Okay, good. that is hilarious. It is. I'm so spoiled is, is the story there. But I like in any kind of the zombie shows or survivor shows, like I'm, I'm I you would be like one of the first to go. Yeah, like it's just essentially you know, we're I'm, eating you is what the situation is. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much. Okay. I am not good at adulting in almost anything. Just yeah, no. 
All right, so we are supposed to be playing Fudge Mary Kill. We kind okay. of, I've already said the F word so many times on this, I'm gonna have to bleep it out. I'm I'm the, trying I am the worst because I have such bad language. Can I just like throw a few F bombs like, out there? I'm so bad at cursing, like, at not cursing. So bad. Yeah. I am Fuck. so bad. Would you like, would you care to uh, guess what my mascot is who sits I on my love, desk? I would love to know your mascot. Do you want to guess? Okay. In my mind, I want to say, because you are an art student, oh was an art student. Okay. I think it's one of those hands and I feel like it's in an F U. <laughs> um, well, I have no. something similar to that on my desk, but that is not it. <laughs> yeah, I it. I I'll like, share actually. My okay. friend gave my friend gave me a it's gonna be backwards, but a daily calendar. And every day it is uh curse words. And it's awesome. So uh, today's and tomorrow or the weekends is bullshit. Uh, there are when will it fucking end is in here. It's gonna be backwards, but uh every day I have a, a very heartwarming joy message on my desk. That's cute. That was not my mascot. No, that is not your mascot. Is it a, is it a creature? Ye yes could like be. an animal like it's an animal mm -hmm. yes okay is it a crow Ooh, i'm interested in the guess but no not okay um is it does a crow seem like it'd be my mascot it could be or so let's say something. that you're murdering people because it's a murderer death. I was gonna um, say death. <laughs> um okay i like so, it I like it um is it like a pl is it plushy yes okay well the animal the object it's inspired by it your no okay now you gotta show me all right all right it's inspired by your dumpster fire and i love that and i'm gonna have to track it down i have everything is fine dog this is fun he's so cute and he has fire behind him. He has like cardboard fire in his room. So he, that this is, is fun. <laughs> it's perfect. I feel, I feel like dumpster fire and plushy, everything is fine dog could be best friends. I know that's, I'm going to have to go track this down now. I now need dumpster fire plushy. I, I don't know. I feel like at least in the journal community, you've taken a lot of action on like, um, the, the, like being start. passionate about copywriting and yeah yeah things. really passionate about that and yeah. I think for a long time I was like the go-to person for oh my god someone stole my work and I was like oh my god let's do something about that all right so if Mary kill I oh, yeah. give you three <laughs> notebooks all right because I know that you have got a specific penchant for a specific notebook so this is going to be a challenging question <laughs> okay yep all right yep. so are you currently in your Lostrum? I am, yes. Okay, great. <laughs> Fudge Mary Kill. Okay, go on. I know. Fudge Mary Kill, Lostrum, mm -hmm. Scribbles That Matter, oh. Archer and Olive. <sighs> well, I gave up my hand there, right? <laughs> like, I think I'd kill, I would kill the Scribbles That Matter for sure. They, they were cool like years ago, but but the quality, man, and it, it's actually the same with Loistrom. The quality I feel like they've gone to is also not as good as it used to be. The new notebooks are nice. The one twenty that they yeah, released, got, those are nice. I've got one as well, and I it's cool. It's, yeah, it's, but like their their original ones, the quality because I've ordered like two or three, and like maybe I just got like a bad batch, and then I went to like. A bookstore and got one and like they're all the same and it's awful now this is oh, i even i tried my 2022 setup i tried in the original like 80 gsm and i was just like i can't do it like i can't i can't do it it had like no coding and so when you did anything you couldn't erase anything yeah okay so we're gonna have mary and talk our channel 
I'm going to do both our journals. <laughs> I love Bonnie. I do. I love Bonnie. Um, I would probably marry our journalist. All right. Seven lessons. Hold on. Seven lessons. Well, no, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it. Okay. I'll marry Lush then. I think I'd rather. <laughs> That's a committed Lush. relationship. Archer Lowell is pretty hot, though. I mean, it's pretty hot. They're pretty okay. sexy. Side note, I just only recently learned that you can paint, like proper paint, with your acrylographs. I haven't tried. I've tried a little bit. Because so. you, you schmooshel the paint out mm -hmm. onto like a thing, and then you just add a bucket load of water, and it's like watercolor. But does it, can you rewater it or does it dry? I have, I used it all up, so I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's my worry. I really like them. Uh, I haven't tried painting with them though. And I haven't tried the um, calliographs. I didn't pop those yet. The they sold down actually. So, yeah. I highly recommend those. You're in Atlanta, Georgia? Mm -hmm. Where is that? <laughs> uh, in the South. So I have the southern accent heritage. I got my peaches down in Georgia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Is that a thing? Is like Georgia known for peaches? Yep, that's our that's our state thing, whatever it is. Are I they good say peaches? Fruit. Yeah, we'll find sure. Are they like pink peach? Like are they like bright orange peaches? Like what kind of what kind of peach vibe are we talking here? uh they're they're orange they're like let's see i have to google it oh <laughs> georgia cheese georgia peach is a thing like they so they there's like the saying of like women are georgia peach so like uh, like a young a girl is like oh she is a georgia peach mm -hmm. all right so back to circling all the way back to questions oh, yeah. did you have any questions for me um no maybe <laughs> well, what's your what's your thought on the current state of bullet journaling? Like in in going right now in this time period in starting twenty twenty two. That is a really interesting question. I think the current state of bullet journaling. I think I think bullet journaling has become like Google. We know that Google is a thing. Google is a business. It's a Google enterprise system. It's an entire wraparound service, right? And I think mm -hmm. bullet journaling has become that because now we use Google as a term to reference any situation where we're searching for something. Um, and I think bullet journal has become that where it's bullet journal is now the catch all for every type of organization, productivity, um, mm -hmm. creative journaling, um, I find it really curious that bullet journal official has kind of now started leaning towards the creators don't suck um, kind of line. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm interested to see where that goes because they were always such a hard line against, you know, creative journals um, and how it wasn't productive. And I remember centuries mm -hmm. ago I said something on the page where I was like just stop like stop saying that because you make us feel left out um it doesn't mean I remember that that. any less create like any less productive or any less organized it just means that we're adding mm -hmm. something that brings joy to us like don't ostracize us for adding something that is not identical to your system we're using the system in the way that it's meant to you in a way that works for you right so I think I'm interested to, I'm curious to see what's going to happen this year. Um, I think, I think there's a lot of people in the community, um, in many other communities, because there's been a lot of pop-up communities that don't actually know that it started with bullet journal official. I think they just use the term because it's, you know, yeah. and then you have people that use their bullet journals. It's like, no, it's actually a notebook. It's the system that is bullet journal. And they're like, oh, but it's a bullet journal. It's like, no, it's not. Like, it's a notebook, not a system. Um, so there's that as well. So I'm interested to see how it goes this year. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I'm glad. I've always been conflicted on the art versus, like, strict method. Because 
I actually started as more of the strict method. And um, I'd always, I had been trying to learn like rock lettering and for years, but I never like had a reason to. Uh, you know, like I thought it was cool, but I never had a reason to like do it as a normal practice. And like, you know, mm. it can be frustrating. And uh, so I did bullet journaling like very early on. I did like the very strict method. And then I started adding in like the headers and like, the, you know, and it just sort of like became this like, oh, like I enjoy the art aspect of it. Yeah. But there were there were so many people that are like, I can't bullet journal because I'm not creative. And like, I'm like, I'm actively creating this problem. <laughs> like, I am actively part of the like thinking that all bullet journals have to be like really pretty and artsy. And, but, you know, behind the scenes, it's, I don't know, it's not that at all. Like, I have really bad like scribbles and stuff from work and like really not pretty stuff uh, for my like day to day. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think. Yeah, go, go. You think? Yeah, yeah, I think. So, towards the end, I think it was already happening, but I think COVID kind of put this, made this faster. There became, it went from artsy, like art, very high artistic style, tons of creators and people in the community. And then it be, kind of came back around to like more simple type things. Like, yeah. show me a quick and easy spread. Like, can I do this in like five minutes? It doesn't need. You know, you can have like an acrylograph and just make something really pretty with one color. I think with COVID in 2020, people, it became too much. And so a lot of people took breaks. Yeah. And then like less of that art style because we're all just collectively trying to get through this thing. We're just trying to survive. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and I think 2021 was probably more of like realizing like this is where we are now. <laughs> like. This isn't just gonna go away immediately. And so the end of 2021, I think a lot of art stuff is starting to come back. Yeah. What I feel like. I think people who have that creative style, and people didn't stop, but some people did, who want to be more creative, I think they're starting to get back into like being inspired or figuring out how to like be creative in this new like world that we're now living. Yeah. So, what's what what do you yeah. find like what's something in the community that really irks you uh, i don't know i gotta think about this one one there's more than one i mean <laughs> the whole art versus art versus not art was one that was a big one like i, I felt like beginning of bullet journaling and even bullet journal official Part of their ethos was like you modify this system to work for you yeah and at some point that dropped like and it became like you have to do this this system exactly or you're doing it wrong quote unquote. Yeah. and i don't know exactly when that happened like maybe it was with all this this debate of art or not art um but i just felt like that part of the ethos of like make the journal work for you and like this is part of doing it analog like analog is a big important factor into like how you can be effective using it like i'm really sad that that dropped because like for me there's just tons of iterations like i'll make a weekly spread and then like i really wanted didn't leave myself enough room for tracking whatever and wish i had more space so i'm going to do it a different way next week or like i'm going to track habits this way but then i really didn't actually find any value out of that so now i'm going to do it differently you know and like Part of it is like iterating and figuring out that process that like helps yourself be successful. And I just feel like if we're going to say bullet journal is an official way to get it done, like you're really missing a lot of value there. You know? You feel that? Right? Yeah. I think the other thing that, that irks me quite a bit is that we've trained newbies. I say newbies, people getting into it. We've trained newbies that there's this level of expectation that the OG group um, or the people that are, are bigger accounts, that they are there as performing monkeys, essentially for the OGs. And there's like the sense of entitlement that if we create something, they can duplicate or copy or um, 
you know, and I think there's this lack of understanding around copyright. I think, you know, we've spoken about it many, many times, you know, lack of understanding around copyright, uh, copyright infringements, you know, just even having the common courtesy to say, hey, I love what you've created, babe. Can I do something similar? Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's something for me that really frustrates me quite a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think there's, I think there's a number of things. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a number of things. It is, it is interesting, like, new people coming into the bullet journal community and their sense of how they use it or what they feel like it is. And I don't know, it's kind of different. I'm trying to, like, I think I articulate. And for me, it's a reels. <laughs> Come back to reels. Like people have asked me for a long time. Oh. All right. So what other questions do you have? Do you have any questions for me? Um, I mean, we were talking about things that irk, that irk, us, irk us in the community. Uh, why are you bringing back your YouTube video channel? Like what's, what's about that? Um, um. I think I took enough of a break to kind of regroup and be a little bit more structured about the boundaries that I wanted to put into place. I think I was just pouring too much love and attention into it. Um, and I wasn't, I was just feeling a lot of burnout. Um, mm -hmm. And I think if I pace it a bit better and I plan a bit better, I feel like maybe it's not going to feel as overwhelming. Um that and YouTube very nearly kicked me off the system because I hadn't posted for so long. Whoops. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, we care about your mental health. Take a break. Don't take a break. I'm like, nope, you can't do that. Too long. I gotta take a break. Um, but yeah, like it's been over a year since I posted and it's actually been really stressful. So today, you know, I released Mark and my interview today. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's been really stressful because I'm just like, oh Lord, what? comments what comments are going to unfold today um and it freaks me out like at least now I know I have the power to switch off comments which is really nice thanks Erin um <laughs> thanks Erin for telling me how to switch those off um, it was my saving grace in life um but yeah I think I think the big one is that you know I've taken a bit of time to reflect on what content I do want to make um mm -hmm. I also feel like, you know, Mark has spoken about this. I know you've spoken about it a little bit as well, but I just feel like my personality isn't really shown in the stuff that I do. Like you only ever see like hand shots and, you know, mm -hmm. and you've only seen me on a surface level and apparently I'm terrifying. So, you know, we've got to change that. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, oh crap, what the, what kind of, system have I put in here that I'm just like uh, the terrifying tyrant of bullet journaling it's, it's a compliment I promise it's in a good way <laughs> and I'm so thing about and gooey inside I cried the whole way through Ikanto the uh, in Kanto in Kanto the other day I was like <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I'm a big squishy marshmallow I'm saddest saddest human <laughs> it's a compliment like because yes. think i think because we we all see you as such a leader and a prominent you know contributor to the community oh, like, like in that og in, in the og way i'm not gonna let me go for a second no <laughs> but like we care i think that's what it is like your opinion matters to to the community so like think if i if i didn't care what you know how, how you felt about something like I wouldn't care if you were terrifying like it's just like, right it's good I promise hey you know what I'll take it I'll take a compliment thanks babes <laughs> yeah terrifying is too strong of a word but like intimidating, <laughs> intimidating too ah well you know yeah no it's I've been told three times this week to put myself out there more. anyway well it's been it has been amazing chatting to you it's been really lovely a to see your face and to get to know you better that's been super fun oh yeah thank you it's been great to, to talk and finally meet people oh, 
isn't it weird isn't it we've been talking for like years and never like I know I legitimately like when you logged on I was like who am I getting <laughs> yeah right some I, crazy person you, like you're yeah. catfishing it's you're yeah, gonna it's be like, like this like 47 year old man yep and <laughs> like no teeth bald yeah <laughs> Sorry to the 47 year old man who has no teeth and is bald. Well, don't mean you particularly, not you specifically, just your stereotype. So sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be panicking about this video. It's fine. Are you it's actually? Fine. No. You know, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, Mark's live at the moment. You know what we should do? How fun is that? <laughs> Is he really? The Hexadex that just takes <gasps> an extra time. The design. Oh my god, let's five. You're gonna like at least six, six, add, 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 ask to request to join. Well, um Are you doing I, it? I had gotten I think one or two of them with How my two things from Japan order, just oh. one. Um, Ten people to, to fill out <laughs> nine people. My my time my uh sorry, my shipping. Um, and I didn't know that I was going to love it. I was just like, oh, it was another pen. And then I got it. Pam and I want to join. Because, um, I'll show you in just a, a few minutes when we get to it. Like, <laughs> there are different versions. And I'm just oh, like, boy. It feels like a blue black. And then there's. Wait, like, so do you just like. like other. I don't even know how to do a fucking live. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. What do you do? Like, for your setup, do you just do the whole, like, hold the phone up? Yeah, I'm not. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, he's reading. You could use your dots to make larger polygon and octagon with 14 blocks of time with bisected verticals. Well, thank you. <laughs> Man, that was amazing. Writing Susan. Oh, hey, he accepted the journey. live. We're, we're getting some crashers. My inner creative. Oh. What do I have to do? I don't hey, know. what? We're talking to Cam right now. Hey, what's up? Oh, you guys are like literally having a conversation as we speak. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're so excited. Can you wait? Put the put the camera on Cam though, because I don't know that I've actually have have I ever met Cam. Oh my god! Like, face -face? Hold on, I was gonna do. You know, that was like an exclusive that I had was her face. Look at this beautiful hey, face. Hey, what's up, Cam? How's it going? Hi. If you put yourself out there. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Is she, is she grilling you? Yes. Yes. This has yeah. been a horrible conversation. Awful. I'm like sweating. <laughs> it's just true, actually. <laughs> okay, hold up. How do I... I can't wait for it. Jesus. <laughs> it's on a delay. You guys doing the, the F, Mary kill? We did. We did. We did. We did it poorly, I feel like. We did it really poorly because we went down a couple of rabbit holes. It's easy yeah. to do in those conversations. <laughs> what are you up to? Yeah. I'm I'm making hexadexes. I'm doing my Oh, uh, those my are great. Thanks. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I haven't done them in a while. Hold on. And, uh, I decided this week I needed a little bit of like something that would be um, structure to my life. So I decided that I was going to do these this week for my weekly. See, we, we love a hexadex. I also love a spiral dex. I've got that nice fancy spiral dex goodie. Uh, you know what's really funny? I, when I took out my, I have all of my different um, stencils. I totally forgot that my wife actually got me for Christmas a bunch of stencils that have those on there. I've never done a spiral dex, but I'm assuming is that, is that that thing there? No, that's a, that's more of a, yeah, that one, that one. The seashell. Yeah. That's spiral decks. I think, Cam, haven't you used a couple of spiral decks as well? No. No. Uh, I used one, but I didn't have a good template for it. It was really hard to do. And I'm like, I'm never doing this again. Fair enough. <laughs> Basically. It took way too long. So, uh. Wait, how did you use this? I've done the hexadexes before, but never a spiral decks. Well, I'm like genuinely curious. How do you use this? I thought I forgot. I didn't know that you guys were like having a like doing a chat. I thought you both were like uh, join me for the plan with me. Well, we should do like a big joint plan with me. We should. I, you know what? After doing a few with uh, Stuck on Creations and um, Craftinated and that crew, how great they is they do that weekly one? Yeah, it's how great so is much Kay? fun. I mean, it's definitely difficult to pay attention 
to what everyone else is doing. I usually have to rewatch and I'll be like, hey, I really like that thing that you did. They're like, thanks. You didn't notice it. I was like, I am paying attention to my own stuff while I'm working. I'm not paying attention to you. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll leave you to it. Thanks for letting us get cash. Yeah, no, have fun. I can't wait. To, I can't wait for the conversation. It's been, it's <laughs> definitely been all over the shop. And thanks. I, I loved our, um, I loved how our chat went today. Oh, someone just said, Bridger mom, love how someone in the spoilers group shared that you mentioned the spoilers group in <laughs> our video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, because the spoilers group is, is the best and, and troublesome all at the same exact time. Such, <laughs> such a bunch of silly sausages. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> anyone called people that before oh well, you know I was, I was i was re-listening to our conversation <laughs> and i was i was um i was laughing at um you said one of the words you said i think it's now the way you say now i was like it's just such a good it's such a, a fun word now wait now you have to say it now now no but we in south africa we also say now now so now now is a time frame (laughs) and it does not define now as in like right now it defines a time between now and at least three or four hours from now so you're like oh can i can you get me a cup of coffee and i'm like oh i'll get you one now now it does not mean i'm getting you one right now it means i will get you one when i'm ready Uh, i'll get you one between the next three hours between now and three hours Oh my god! <laughs> in in the states now, now would be like right this now, second. But yeah. we've also got just now as well. Oh, we'll see you just now, and it's like no, it doesn't mean right now either. It means right now. Oh All right, goodness. I'll I'll well, I gotta, I'll leave you I've to finish your plan with me. Uh, colors I'm about to do. I don't know what colors they are because I can't tell my colors. But I got new <laughs> well, you're pulling you're pulling out a black, a gray, a maroon. A red. Wait, why can't he tell which color? And then? a yellow. He's colorblind. What? Mark's colorblind. Yeah. What? Yeah. The I him. I know that this blue gray. The hell? Uh, dark. No, that's a black, and then you've got a gray. Yeah, it's brown. No, it's a it's a black. Oh my god. What? Mix though, like over in this over in this group. Yeah. There's some like brown blacks and some black grays oh no babe and then blue okay no no you've got you've got like a dark blue a gray blue great like a gray no it's like more blue than it is gray and then you've got like a olive green and that is definitely a brown and then you've got like a red red okay i mean i'm close that's all that really matters in my life Mm. I, did I know this? I don't think I knew. You just, he has said this so many times in our chat. Mark says a lot of things in our chat. All right, well, okay. Let's see what happens. Well, so thanks. Color and Mark. We'll see you later. Thanks for letting us join. All right. See ya. Have a good. Day. Anyway, it's been wonderful yeah. chatting to you. Thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time. I really appreciate you yeah. spending like this after. Well, this morning, this evening. Yeah, this time, time, time whatever <laughs> a time with me um it's been amazing catching yes. up with you and having a chat about bullet journal and life and all of the things um, it's great to meet you in person now i feel like we have to do this more because yes i feel like we should have like just an open plan with me like you know if yeah. people come they come if they don't they don't i like it i like it like if- <laughs> Anyway, circling Anyways, I'm all the way back, <laughs> I will link all of your details below. If there is anything, um, you know, extra that you just want me to add, let me know. And I'm happy to add that in. And for those of you amazing people who have made it to the end of our video, um, please do <laughs> subscribe, like, and share because um, we're hilarious, um, obviously. Yeah, really. Or sarcastic, either one. You know. you know, I feel like 